Mm. Oh, <laughs> now I don't smoke really, and um, and this isn't even a cigarette actually. So what is it? Well, it's uh, it's a lighter, except I haven't put any fuel in recently, but I wouldn't need to because I don't smoke. But I do like collecting unusual things around cigarettes. Um, more often the lighters are amazing, and here's a little collection of ashtrays. Some of them are very quirky. I like them. So the cigarette just sits over there like that, but, or in there. But this is uh, a very strange ashtray because it's made of rubber. Well, it's made of silicon rubber, so it's quite resistant to the heat you get out of the tip of the cigarette. Very strange. It looks like a coffee cup. It sits in there. It wouldn't damage or mark the rubber, being silicon rubber. Quirky thing to have, and I've never used it in earnest because I don't smoke, but nice one to have in the collection. Here's an even prettier one, absolutely standard looking ashtray, but actually look underneath, there's a charming little rural scene with two cows and a field and some grass. The bottom of the ashtray is that bit there, but the off bottom of the vessel is, is further down, there's an air cell in between the two. You get this charming little scene that would adorn any, 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 any withdrawing room, I think. Nice one, that. One of the earliest I picked up of quirky ashtrays is this one here from Japan. I picked it up in 1986. What they actually sold was this thing here alone. They didn't sell the jam jar. That's me adding it in, a little marmalade jar. That was sold as a, a way of recycling jars or tins or whatever it is, because it just fits over. You screw the screws in and fits over, provided you've got the right size. I've got it on a, on a marmalade jar, but you could put it over a tin or a can or a soup can. And it's a lovely way of recycling and making good use of something. Otherwise, you'd have to throw it away. Makes it into a, a perfectly functioning ashtray. Nice one. I like the way that it closes up too to stop fumes coming out. Another very quirky ashtray, which I've got to a little bit more recently. This one here, which I've got about four or five samples in my collection. Some of them are just little slots in it, which means they're, they're meant for coins. Uh, one I've got has got a little magnet in it, so it's a desktop thing which holds paper clips. This one though is meant for cigarettes. You leave a cigarette in there when you're smoking. It's a, an ashtray, an elevated one, and looks as though it's, of course, it's oil coming out of a can, which is a nice little optical illusion. So a very unusual ashtray to have in the office. I like that one. And another one which is an optical illusion, also from Japan, or at least the original idea was Japanese, this may be a copy from the Far East, is this one here, which is one of these wonderful magic bank type boxes where instead of being coins, it's a, an ashtray, so you keep the cigarettes there. But it's got a golf ball, well, half a golf ball, and a sloping glass to give the impression that it's floating in the air. But it's intended to be a very quirky little ashtray for the cigarettes. A nice one. Then there's one here which is like, um, almost like a pocket. Well, I it could be used for keeping, to keep tobacco, I suppose, but it's got a very unusual mechanism for opening. The idea is to flick your ash in there and then close up the box. But to open it again, you've got to squeeze the side. That's very nice. So it's a very nice, elegant form of ashtray. They're all very silvery inside and very beautiful. So just a little small collection of ashtrays. I did say at the beginning that I, I, I don't smoke, which is true, but um, I did smoke. Well, I gave up smoking when I was five. Well, I should explain that I found a packet of cigarettes when I was a five-year-old. After the war, they were rationed, and a packet of cigarettes were like finding a, a gold a gold coin on the, on, the, on the pavement. It was incredibly valuable. I took it home to my mother, who, being a wise woman, let me have a little puff of this treasure I'd found. And I remember coughing all morning and feeling very sick. And it was a wonderful aversion therapy. <laughs> Saved myself thousands of pounds in taxes. Well, the last item to show you is uh, something you're probably very familiar with. It's one of these wonderful rotating things, a finger fiddle. And I got it quite recently at a summer fete where they insisted on charging £10 for it and said it wasn't available for children to buy. Why not, says I. So have a look. The answer is, as well as being a spinner, it's a cigarette lighter. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's got a little glowing thing. So it's a windproof cigarette lighter with a little blue LED in it. And when it runs out of power, you put in a little USB socket there. So that's... A very, very fine. And also, I found it because it goes on for about two minutes, so it's got extremely high quality ball bearings in it. So, I do like, f I don't smoke, but I do love finding things which smokers use ashtrays and lighters and what have you. I think there's some very interesting designs there. What do you think? <laughs>